My brethren, saints of Christ Jesus, God bless you all. Uh, keep you all in my prayers and hope you're all doing well. I want to share some holy scriptures today. Um, first, the gospel. For It's always the good news to hear. Uh, for the lost, if any has, has not yet come to Jesus by faith, what must you do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy household. Uh, it says in Acts 16.31. And so we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, but are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God hath made a seat of mercy through faith in his blood, to show the righteousness which before him is of valor, and that he forgiveth the sins that are past, which God did suffer to show at this time, the righteousness that is allowed of him, that he might be counted just, and a justifier of him which believeth on Jesus. So you must believe on Jesus. You are justified in his blood. So have faith in the precious blood atonement of Jesus Christ, in the crucifixion at Golgotha, Calvary Hill, the burial, laid in a tomb for three days, and that he rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures, as it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1-4, through four, that's the gospel. So believe on Jesus, call upon his name. Have faith in what he did for you. And he, it says in Ephesians chapter 1, 13 and 14, uh, in whom you believed after that you heard the word of truth, I mean the gospel of your salvation, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance un, until the redemption of the purchased possession. So, yeah, once you believe, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, saved, you receive God's grace, His forgiveness, and continue in the faith. Be, be water baptized and continue sharing the gospel with others. So yeah, that's gospel. The brethren, as pertaining to the gospel which I preached unto you, which you have also accepted, and in the which you continue, by the which also you are saved, I do you to it after a manner I preached unto you, if you keep it, except you have believed in vain. For first of all I delivered unto you that which I received, how? That Christ died for our sins, agreeing to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and he arose again the third day, according to the scriptures. That is the gospel, the good news. Believe on Jesus, he died for your sins, he paid the price for all of your sins, and all the sins of mankind. So if you believe in him, like John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So believe on Jesus, believe in his name, and love on another. As God gave his commandment. So th I'll read some now from, uh, I want to read from the book of Enoch, chapter 45, 46, 49, 58, 62. Close of the third parable of chapter 69 and chapter 100. This is the translation by Robert Henry Charles of the book of Enoch. Chapter 45 here. The lot of, the, yeah, thank you Lord, uh, guide us unto all truth, teach us Lord by your word and the Holy Spirit. The help of Jesus Christ. Lord, help those that, that need healing and touch them. Lord, heal them by the stripes of Jesus. Your will be done, Lord, on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you for your word. Jesus Christ, holy name, I pray and thank you, God. Amen. All right, well, there's some titles here. I'm just going to read it. This is Enoch chapter 45. The second parable, the law of the apostates, the new heaven and the new earth. And this is the second parable concerning those who deny the name of the dwelling of the holy ones and the Lord of spirits. And into the heaven they shall not ascend, and on the earth they shall not come. Such shall be the law of the sinners, who have denied the name of the Lord of spirits, who are thus preserved for the day of suffering and tribulation. On that day many elect ones shall sit on the throne of glory, and shall try their works, and their places of rest shall be innumerable, and their souls shall grow strong within them when they see mine elect ones, and those who have called upon my glorious name. Then will I cause mine elect one to dwell among them, and I will transform the heaven and make it an eternal blessing and light, and I will transform the earth and make it a blessing, and I will cause mine elect ones to dwell upon it. But the sinners and evildoers shall not set foot thereon. For I have provided and satisfied with peace my righteous ones, and have caused them to dwell before me. But for the sinners there is judgment impending with me, so that I shall destroy them from the face of the earth. And then chapter 46, The head of days and the son of man, 
And there I saw one who had a head of days, and his head was white like wool, and with him was another being whose countenance had the appearance of a man, and his face was full of graciousness like one of the holy angels. And I asked the angel who went with me, and showed me all the hidden things concerning that son of man, who he was, and whence he was, and... And why he went with the head of days. And he answered and said unto me, This is the Son of Man who hath righteousness, with whom dwelleth righteousness, and who revealeth all the treasures of that which is hidden. Because the Lord of Spirits hath chosen him, and whose lot hath a preeminence before the Lord of Spirits in uprightness forever. And this Son of Man whom thou hast seen shall raise up the kings and the mighty from their seats, and the strong from their thrones, and shall loosen the reins of the strong, and break the teeth of the sinners. And he shall put down the kings from their thrones and kingdoms, because they do not extol and praise him, nor humbly acknowledge whence the kingdom was bestowed upon them. And he shall put the countenance, and he shall put down the countenance of the strong, and shall fill them with shame. And darkness will be their, and darkness shall be their dwelling, and worms shall be their bed. And they shall have no hope of rising from their beds, because they do not extol the name of the Lord of Spirits. These are they who judge the stars of heaven, and raise their hands against the Most High, and tread upon the earth, and dwell upon it. And all their deeds manifest unrighteousness, and their power rests upon their riches. And their faith is in the lowercase gods which they have made with their hands, and they deny the name of the Lord of Spirits, and they persecute the houses of his congregations, and the faithful who hang upon the name of the Lord of Spirits. And now Enoch chapter 49. The power and wisdom of the elect one. For wisdom is poured out like water, and glory faileth not before him for evermore. For he is mighty in all the secrets of righteousness, and unrighteousness shall disappear as a shadow and have no continuance. Because the elect one standeth before the Lord of spirits, and his glory is for ever and ever, and his might unto all generations. And in him dwells the spirit of wisdom, and the spirit which gives insight, and the spirit of understanding and of might, and the spirit of those who have fallen asleep in righteousness. And he shall judge his secret things, and none shall be able to utter a lying word before him. For he is the elect one before the Lord of spirits, according to his good pleasure. All right, and now, Enoch chapter 58. The third parable, the blessedness of the saints. And I began to speak the third parable concerning the righteous and elect. Blessed are ye, righteous and elect, for glorious shall be your lot. And the righteous shall be in the light of the sun, and the elect of, the, and the elect in the light of eternal life. The days of their life shall be, the days of their life shall be unending, and the days of the holy without number. And they shall seek the light and find righteousness with the Lord of Spirits. There shall be peace to the righteous in the name of the eternal Lord. And after this it shall be said to the holy in heaven that they should seek out the secrets of righteousness, the heritage of faith. For it has become bright as the sun upon earth, and the darkness is past. And there shall be a light that never endeth, and to a limit, literally number of days, they shall not come. For the darkness shall first have been destroyed, and the light established before the Lord of Spirits, and the light of a brightness established forever before the Lord of Spirits. So this is chapter 6, Enoch chapter 58. Yeah. And now, Enoch chapter 62. This has different, if you can call it books or chapters. Yeah. You know, chapter 62. Okay. Hang on, brother. Almost there. Alright. Here it is. Judgment of the kings and the mighty, blessedness of the righteous. And thus the Lord commanded the kings and the mighty and the exalted and those who dwell on the earth, and said, Open your eyes and lift up your horns if you are able to recognize the elect one. And the Lord of Spirit seated him on the throne of his glory, and the spirit of righteousness was poured out upon him, and the word of his mouth slays all the sinners, and all the unrighteous are destroyed from before his face. And there shall stand up in that day all the kings and the mighty, and the exalted and those who hold the earth, and they shall see and recognize how he sits on the throne of his glory, and righteousness is judged before him, and no lying word is spoken before him. Then shall pain come upon them as 
Then shall pain come upon them as on a woman in travail, and she, and she has brought pain in bringing forth when her child enters the mouth of the womb, and she has pain in bringing forth. And one portion of them shall look on the other, and they shall be a ter and they shall be terrified, and they shall be downcast of countenance, and pain shall seize them, when they see that Son of Man sitting on the throne of his glory. And the kings and the mighty, and all who possess the earth shall bless and glorify and extol him who rules over all, who is hidden. Footnote there says universal dominion. For from the beginning of the Son of Man was for from the beginning the Son of Man was hidden, and the Most High preserved him in the presence of his might, and revealed him to the elect. And the congregation of the elect and holy shall be sown, and all the elect shall stand before him on that day. And all the kings and the mighty, and the exalted, and those who rule the earth, shall fall down before him on their faces, and worship and set their hope upon that Son of Man, and petition him and supplicate for mercy at his hands. Nevertheless, that Lord of Spirits will so press them, nevertheless, that Lord of Spirits will so press them, that they shall hastily go forth from his presence, and their faces shall be filled with shame, and the darkness shall grow deeper on their faces, and he will deliver them to the angels for punishment, to execute vengeance on them, because they have oppressed his children and his elect. And they shall be a spectacle for the righteous and for his elect. They shall rejoice over them, because the wrath of the Lord of Spirits resteth upon them, and his sword is drunk with their blood. And the righteous and elect shall be saved on that day, and they shall never thenceforward see the face of the sinners and unrighteous. And the Lord of Spirits will abide over them, and with that Son of Man shall they eat, and lie down and rise up forever and ever. And the righteous and elect shall have risen from the earth, and ceased to be of downcast countenance. And they shall have been clothed with garments of glory, and they shall be the garments and they shall be the garments of life from the Lord of Spirits, and your garments shall not wax, and your and your garments shall not grow old, nor your glory pass away before the Lord of Spirits. Praise the Lord God. Now we know chapter portion of chapter sixty nine. There's a certain uh, YouTube channel that the person did a reading of all this Book of Enoch from the translation of Robert Henry Charles. And I don't know if those uh, titles were originally, like in the original Greek translation, which well may not have been the actual original, it was like either a Hebrew or an Aramaic, according to a certain scholars believe. The, the, the copy, the Greek translation that this is based upon I don't know if those titles were originally in that Greek uh, copy translation so anyways now to Enoch chapter portion of chapter 69 where is it at Jesus Christ is coming very soon Here it is, and the close of the third parable. And there was great joy amongst them, and they blessed and glorified and, and extolled, because the, name of, because the name of that Son of Man had been revealed unto them. And he sat on the throne of his glory, and the sum of judgment was given unto the Son of Man. And he caused the sinners to pass away and be destroyed from off the face of the earth, and those who have led the world astray. With chains shall they be bound, and in their assemblage place of destruction shall they be imprisoned. And all their works shall vanish from the face of the earth. And from henceforth there shall be nothing corruptible. For that Son of Man has appeared, and has seated himself on the throne of his glory. And all evil shall pass away before his face. And, and the word of that Son of Man shall go forth, and be strong before the Lord of Spirits. This is the third parable of Enoch. And now, the last one here would be Enoch ch chapter 100. There's 108 chapters in this book of Enoch. Read it for yourself. Examine all things and keep that which is good. Be led by the Holy Spirit and pray. Seek God. He that laboreth for honesty findeth his desire. Says something like that, I believe, in Proverbs chapter. I'm not sure exactly what chapter. 
Mm. All right. Enoch chapter 100. The sinners destroy each other. Judgment of the fallen angels, the safety of the righteous, further woes for the sinners. And in those days, in one place, the fathers together with their sons shall be smitten, and brothers one with another shall fall in death, till the streams flow with their blood. For a man shall not withhold his hand from slaying his sons and his son's sons, and the sinner shall not withhold his hand from his honored brother. From dawn till sunset they shall slay one another, and the horse shall walk up to the breast in the blood of sinners. Perhaps that's connected to, or as in Revelation, um, maybe chapter nine, it says, and 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 the whore, and the blood filled up in, into the space of into the area or something of the horse's bridle, uh, something like that. And the horse shall walk up to the breast in the blood of sinners, and the chariot shall be submerged to its height. In those days, the angels shall descend into the secret places and gather together into one place all those who brought down sin. And the Most High will arise on that day of judgment to execute great judgment among sinners. And over all the righteous and holy, he will appoint guardians from amongst the holy angels to guard them as the apple of an eye until he makes an end of all wickedness and all sin. Hallelujah. And over all the righteous and holy he will appoint guardians for amongst the holy angels to guard them as the apple of an eye until he makes an end of all wickedness and all sin. Thank you, Jesus, Father Jehovah and the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. And though the righteous sleep a long sleep, they have naught to fear. And then the children of the earth shall see the wise in security and shall understand all the words of this book and recognize that their riches shall not be able to save them in the overthrow of their sins. Woe to you, sinners, on the day of strong anguish, ye who afflict the righteous and burn them with fire, ye shall be requited according to your works. Woe to you, ye obstinate of heart, who watch in order to devise wickedness. Therefore shall fear come upon you, and there shall be none to help you. Woe to you, ye sinners, on account of the words of your mouth, and on account of the deeds of your hands, which your godlessness hath wrought. In blazing flames burning worse than fire shall ye burn. And now, know ye, I don't know if I have enough time to record all this. So. Anyways, pause it if you need to. And now, know ye that from the angels he will inquire as to your deeds in heaven, from the sun, and from the moon, and from the stars.